Another parade, another bloody negotiation. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Orlay from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlay would control us, and based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years have been kind to you. Have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empress du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Corypheus left a great deal of damage for us to repair. I appreciate your efforts. And I yours, Your Worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron de Chedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. You can probably just call her Leliana in private conversation. You can, Inquisitor. I prefer to use her divine name. Our last divine once joked about why I insisted upon calling her Justinia. She called it my way of reassuring her that I had not completely forgotten who was in charge. How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. Oh, with respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. Victoria is proving to be a woman that few dare to disagree with. She has already won concessions for the Inquisition. You are fortunate to have her support. I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The Divine sees the good that you can do, and have done. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Ole. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. The Imperium sent an ambassador? Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. I believe Sir Blackwall has returned as well, although he now uses the name Tom Ranier. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have the chance once the Exalted Council is underway. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This Exalted Council... Thorelden would have the Inquisition disband. Ole sees its power as another feather in a chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? The Inquisition still has work to do. We can't let someone's fear push us into disbanding. Then I wish you luck in the negotiations to come. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer.
darling, you made it. Excellent. I shared your disappointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Appointment? With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Of course it is, darling. That's the only kind I have. What are the cheese wheels for? It pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. <laughs> Did you hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. I've been worried about you since the whole Black Wall incident. I'm still not over what happened. We shouldn't dwell on terrible mistakes, should we? It's spa day. Do you come to this spa very often? As often as I can. Sadly, no more than twice a year at best. Duty first. Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. Come along, Inquisitor. They have other appointments, you know. You there! You're to dodge, not catch! If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. You... found a dog? They don't breed Mabari in Olay. The merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. Poor boy. Well, he seems happy now. Another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace. I couldn't leave him to that fate. Besides, <laughs> I think he likes me. You could take him to Ferelden sometime. He should know where he came from. I did promise my sister a visit. She might try to spoil you. <laughs> Remember who you report to. The Inquisition will change after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. Whatever happens, our people, you, Liliana, Josephine, will have my support in whatever form you require. I can't imagine the Inquisition without you. I am honored, and likewise, Inquisitor. Watch this, and I'll find overpriced Orlesian dog treats before we go. The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he did. 
Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchants Guild. And the captain of the city guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. Inquisitor, Andraste's ass, am I ever glad to see you. And the Inquisitor comes to the rescue once again. Is that what you call it? Uh, this is Bran Caven. Until recently, he was the Viscount... Provisional Viscount. Of Kirkwall? And what are you doing now? I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. You're the Viscount of Kirkwall now. Well, it seems the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? So, it turns out you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city-state, the nobles give you the worst job they can think of. That's fantastic. You'll make an excellent Viscount. I think the nobility figured, after Dumar and Perrin, what's the worst that could happen if we put the dwarf in charge? They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a Comtesse now. You can't actually do that without... Too late. Already did it. You should stop by Hightown sometime to see your estate. It's pretty nice, for Kirkwall, anyway. Proper disposition of empty estates is supposed to... <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? <sighs> this is possibly too much, Varric. I don't know what to say. That's nothing. Practically nothing. Don't mention it. Oh, that reminds me. It's the key to the city. You can't give that away without approval from the Council and a special ceremony. It... It's just symbolic, anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. This operates those giant chains. Can I try it? No. I don't know how this council thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever gets decided, you've got a place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh, control of the harbor, I guess? Anyway, you should meet with the diplomats. And we'll get in a game of Wicked Grace before I go back, though, right? I wouldn't miss it. Don't bet any public buildings this time.
Inquisitor Herald, glad to be back for whatever it is this lot have shoved up their sleeves. Just right up in there. That's it? It's been some time. Well, we don't know what's what, so what's there to go on about? It's Inquisition business, innit? That's all we are. Maybe sort out how they want to mess with us. Then there'll be something to talk about. Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I need you to keep the chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. It's for his birthday. I'll see what I can do, Krem. All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you. You know what, Bull? I really like hitting things. <laughs> I know, right? We have the best job. <sighs> It's good to see that the Veil has largely healed, now that most of the major rifts are closed. You might think otherwise, but the Veil isn't technically a physical barrier. It's more like a magical vibration that repels the Fade. Hmm. of the Exalted Council could affect the Lyrium shipments from Orzammar? Uh, maybe. Did you know that Ferelden has its own names for lords? The country is divided into Ternes, governed by Ternes. Inside those are cities and Arlings ruled by Arls, and then there's the Banorn. It's a large area of countryside ruled by multiple bands. Good to know. Fascinating to see the remnants of Syrian culture here. Most of it was deliberately erased during Orlesian unification under the reign of Mafarath's son Isarath. Uh huh. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me!
Well met, your worship. Oh. Is everything all right? Yes. Well, I wanted to speak with you, and now you're here. This seems serious. It's not about me. It's about you. Maybe you should sit. I can stand. Maybe I should sit. Inquisitor, I want you to know that I am your friend. I will always be your friend. Oh, well, that's... So I hope to give you sound advice on this momentous day. Do what is in your heart, my friend. No matter what anyone might tell you. That's a lovely sentiment, Cassandra. Marriage is much more than a lovely sentiment, Inquisitor. Marriage? I can't imagine who it is. Megan knows you've kept it secret, but if marriage is... You're not proposing to anyone. I am going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? Why? He said I was going to propose. He mentioned a proposal. I suppose I filled in the blanks. Or he did this on purpose. That dwarf gets entirely too much joy from my discomfort. <laughs> You're adorable. Uh, there are far worse things to be. Being Inquisitor has brought you good things. Many good things. But only a few have been by your choice. Take what happiness you can from those and do not let them go. That is all I meant to say. Advice from a friend for the days to come.
Inquisitor. Inquisitor. It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Is this in your daily notes? Three to four o'clock, idle chat with the Inquisitor. Of course not! <clears throat> not precisely. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Oh, very much so. In all the years you've worked with Orlai, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. Perhaps you're right. These meetings and talks don't allow for much leisure time. And then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. And what is this small entertainment? Something to ease our minds. I would very much like to surprise you with the details. Thank you for thinking of me. I'd be delighted to attend. Splendid! I will arrange things at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo! Bravo! Was the woman in gold playing a king? Who was the man in feathers? Oh, it's all very simple. The first actor's mask is determined by... Uh, well, I will lend you the program guide. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? That was... one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Truly. That part with the glittery... and they actually set fire to... <laughs> yes, I truly enjoyed it. Then I call tonight a great success. Oh, look! The encore signal!
Orle is on your side, Lord Parvis. The Inquisition's support is not a thing to lose lightly. Which is why the Orlesian court is circling it with a net and collar? But you'll have to excuse me. I see an old friend I must greet. Inquisitor, how long has it been? Don't actually tell me. I despise feeling old. It's good to see you, my friend. You arrived ahead of me. I hope all's well. It's everything I expected. We've been spared the burden of surprise. Orle wants the Inquisition tamed, Ferelden wants it gone, the Chantry medals, and Tevinter sends but one ambassador. That's me, by the way. A reward for my interest in the South. Thankfully, Ambassador Pavis is a token appointment. Call on me as you like. Inquisitor, Duke Cyril Montfort, member of the Council of Heralds and Lord of Chateau Hain. I have long followed your work. It is extraordinary. Is that sentiment shared by the rest of the court? <laughs> of course. Orle wishes only to offer respectful guidance to the Inquisition. The Inquisition's grown. It would be shocking if they didn't find us a threat. Yet you've started no major wars. The Inquisition is a very considerate rival. I have not forgotten Justinia's death. I had friends who perished at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. More than the good you have done, it is a good we may do together I don't wish to lose. Whatever happens, Inquisitor, I wish you well. Divine Victoria, am I interrupting? Of course not, Inquisitor. I was catching up with Redcliffe's Arl. He's here to represent Ferelden at the summit. Inquisitor, good to meet you. How are things in Redcliffe, my lord? Blessedly quiet. The mayor conveys his greetings. Redcliffe remembers its savior. I'll try not to keep you from more important matters. Very well. We'll continue this later, your perfection. Many are frightened of the Inquisition's power, but I will do all I can to allay their fears. Is there anything I can do to make your job easier? Explore the grounds. Let yourself be seen. The delegates need to put a face to the legend. I have much to do, but let me say this. I may no longer be your spy master, but I am always here if you require. I'm glad you finally arrived, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. The Inquisition must have a military arm, Altigan. In your position, I would want the same. That does not mean it reassures me. A power without allegiance to either Ferelden or Orle? Even I see neither of our countries can let it rest. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the Exalted Council begins. Will you walk with me? The first time I came to the Winter Palace, I was only 18. I was dazzled. Such rich hangings, 
splendid marble columns, more golden lions than I could count. It's all still here, still bright, but I no longer see that same palace. And that makes you sad. It is easier on the heart to just see gilding. Now all I see are hands rub raw to make gold gleam, tears shed in the night over silk embroidery. Others overlook them and forget their pain, but I am divine and I cannot be blind. They seek to tear the Inquisition down. You feel it, no? Fear. Anyone with their wits should fear us. We command more people than some countries. It is not our secrets, nor our soldiers. There have always been spy masters in private armies. They are afraid of nothing so much as the hand that directs it all. Mine. Already your actions have begun to reshape Thedas. Your influence is felt everywhere. It was only a matter of time before they moved. I'm surprised it took this long. The Inquisition's time is coming to an end. The Inquisition still does good work. Thedas will always need us. We set out to restore peace. And now peace is upon us. Some things can only be accomplished in shadow, without the trappings of power and the attention they bring. But whatever you decide, I will be honored to stand beside you. Oh.